or mask i guess i'm calling a facial it's a mask and about the anesthesia i hope that i um answered your questions uh excalibur 18 uh thank you for letting me know that i helped you i really that's all i want to do like the fact that i helped one person totally makes my day i'm gonna try to get this video edited like asap as soon as i'm done with this wash my face and all that stuff i'm gonna try to get this video edited and up for you um i believe you asked me this question like two days ago so yeah again if you have questions comments anything share them in the comment section below please subscribe i'll have more um, informative fibroids information coming out soon as well as stuff leading up to my wedding getting married really soon and uh vlogs and I really love this YouTube thing. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I see you guys. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Hello, family and friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kiyoshi Anulia. Today I am going to be answering some questions or one question in particular. Um, you can probably tell from the title of the video. It's about anesthesia when it comes to surgery. I had somebody who recently asked me a question about my experience with anesthesia. So I wrote some notes down and I thought I would record it and I was going to do a facial today. So I figured why not do it like a little mass situation. Why not do it while I talk to you guys about that. So if you are interested in that, keep on watching. Thanks so much for joining me. Okay, so I want to find the name of the person who asked me the question. Um, Excalibur 18. So yes, thank you for this question. Okay, so for this mask before I begin about the anesthesia I'm going to be using the Aztec secret Indian healing uh, bentonite clay very very popular it's great for uh, cleansing skin hair detoxifying and stuff um, yeah so I've used this before but I used it on my hair and it actually worked really well so I don't know why I haven't done I might even do it again today but I'm going to be using that with some apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to get, I have my bowl and everything down here. I'm going to mix this stuff up and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I got my mixture together. I feel like it's a little on the dry side, even though I kind of like it a bit thicker. I think I'm going to add a little bit more, a little bit more vinegar. Um, yeah, I don't really like this super runny. And for those of you, if this is your first video of mine that you're watching, um, hi, welcome. And I just recently had surgery, so for, you know, if you don't know that, I had surgery to remove fibroids, so that's why I'm talking about anesthesia. Anyway, okay, so I wrote some notes down here. I'm going to be trying my hardest to look at y'all and not to look at the, uh, the notes, but... I don't know. I didn't. I, I don't know. We'll just see how it works out, right? Okay. Um, the first thing was that the anesthesiologist came in to talk to me. Um, oh, by the way, if you're doing this, do not mix this with metal. So I guess it kind of squashes the effects of it. So the anesthesiologist came in to talk to me and he asked me some questions. Stuff like my experience level with anesthesia, um, my level of comfort and stuff, you know, how comfortable I was with going into anesthesia. So that actually helped a lot to know that one, they cared <laughs> and that it mattered. He also went over my health history and stuff like that because obviously there are risks involved when, and I like that he did that himself, that he didn't just read the chart you know he actually came to try to talk to me and get to know me Ooh, this is feeling tingly okay um also i asked him about uh nausea because that was one of the main concerns that i had was that i was going to be nauseous when i come out of anesthesia i mean one of my secret fears was not waking up but i'm sure that you know in healthy people that's so uncommon it's like an ir irrational fear 
Uh, they told me that something would be put into my IV in order to keep me from being nauseous. I had heard that there was something that you could put behind your ear and like a pill that you could take or something like that, but I don't know and I don't know if they actually put anything in my IV or if they just told me that so I felt comforted. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Before I went into the operating room, they had put in a, and I did vlog some of this, so if you are interested in seeing, you know, my demeanor and all that stuff, I'll make sure I link those videos so that you can join me for the experience. But, um, I got the, the main IV line put in before I even entered the, op the operating room. And, um, it wasn't the most comfortable thing, but it wasn't a big deal. They, to my knowledge, they didn't administer anything until I was actually in the operating room. I'm getting this all in my hair, but luckily it's good for your hair. <laughs> um... Let's see, what else, what else, what else? So when I finally got in there, let's get to the good step, when they were actually going to give me the sauce. Uh, they told me that they were going to administer some pure oxygen for me prior to them uh, giving me the anesthesia. <laughs> I believed them. And they put the mask on. I was super calm. And then I went night-night. There was no counting backwards. There was no pain. There was no anxiety. There was not really a chance to be nervous about it because before I knew it, I was waking up. And waking up was a slow process for me. And I, I kind of glossed over the um, going night-night part, the part where you actually go under because that's exactly how it, at least for me, that's exactly how it is. You don't realize there's like zero consciousness some people in my i i do encourage you to join a um a support group i've joined one on facebook and i've you know started following people here on youtube who have gone through this i don't know if i'm making this too too, too thick but i don't do masks very often but it is what it is this is what's happening uh yeah so it helped to to connect with other women who were going through the same thing and could who have already gone through it some of them and they were able to give me some insight on what their experiences were now some of the people had completely different experiences like they remember more stuff than i remember there was like counting back from 100 counting back from 10 you know stuff that they remember that i do not remember and i mean it's fine i guess i'd rather not Remember it, there was no me starting to feel woozy or tired or anything like that. It just, they are like, we're going to give you some oxygen, blah, 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 before we give you the stuff. And I'm like, oh, cool. They put the mask on and lights were out. Um, waking up, like I said, was a little bit slower of a process. I should probably leave this alone now and let it actually dry. I don't want to get too close to my eyes. This is going to be hell trying to get off. But you know. Okay. Done. So now I can focus and I can actually go over the notes. So, um, the first thing that I do remember after waking up, I know that I was in recovery because they told me. I remember like a glimpse of consciousness when my face, I'm starting to talk funny because my face is starting to feel tight. Sorry. <laughs> but, um just like a glimpse of consciousness while I was in recovery and I sort of remember like coming to looking at this I don't know what her position was nurse something uh looking at this lady and she said something to me about where I was and where I was about to go and then I was kind of like oh lights out again and then when I remember actually waking up they had taken me on my gurney to my room and they were trying to transfer me from my gurney to the bed Honey, that crap hurt so bad, and that's probably why I remember it so vividly. I remember being feeling like nauseous and feeling so much pain and wanting to cry, but starting to cry, but the 
pain from crying it was just too much and it was actually a quick transition from the gurney to the bed but man it hurt um yeah so that was the main thing that i remember now as far as them giving me stuff so that sorry giving me stuff to help me um like anti-nausea medication i don't know if they actually did that i said that before um, if they did, it ain't work <laughs> because I was still nauseous afterwards. I would say my surgery started at 9 a.m. And then I remember vomiting at some point between the 2 and 3 o'clock hour. Yeah, so somewhere between the 2 and 3 o'clock hour, I actually used my little baggie that they give you for if you need to vomit. That was because you have to keep in mind, I, and, and by the way, I had an open myomectomy, um, so they gave me a bikini cut, like a C-section. Honey, that thing hurt. Just vomiting, oh, it was so painful. Coughing, sneezing, all of that. I mean, I'll talk about more it more later, but yeah, no bueno. Um, I was a little groggy and loopy for quite some time afterwards. Um, I think probably for the rest of that, afternoon by the evening time i was cognitively like normal pretty normal i felt like myself um and then i have footage of that of me doing my first walk or walk because you start to have really ga bad gas pains so or, or typically when you have like an open surgery um there's some gas involved so i had really bad gas pains and the way to help get them out is to get up and walk around so my mom thank you mom i love you <laughs> she was a lifesaver she was able to help me encourage me bully me no she didn't bully me into getting up and walking around i think the nurses were gonna kind of wait for me to do it the next day but mom was like no the easier the better or the sooner you do it the better you're gonna feel and she was right listen to your mama so that pretty much you know, aside from the nausea after the fact, which I don't think there was anything that anybody could do about that, myself included. Um, and it wasn't that bad. It wasn't like I was continuously vomiting. Everybody is different. So you don't really know. You can't really say you're going to respond how I responded or, you know, anything like that. Um, what I ended up doing is when I had a question about anything, I would write to the girls and women in my support group and listen to all of their experiences and just kind of surmise, like just kind of take a tally of stuff and see what's most likely, knowing myself, see what's most likely to happen with, my, with me. Um, it was all in all nothing for me to be concerned about like and that was the consensus like in the group most people have no issues with general anesthesia if you have a complete and full great bill of health clear bill of health you're probably not gonna have any issue at all with anesthesia so I didn't have anything to worry about and I really believe that you won't have anything to worry about either um, just take comfort in the fact that your doctors and your medical team, they're professionals, they know what they're doing, and they're going to take really good care of you. So um, that's really all that I have about anesthesia. I can check my notes right quick to make sure I didn't miss anything. But yeah, if you have any questions other than what I've covered, leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely um, respond to you to the best of my ability. And like I said, I do encourage everybody to... Anyone who's going through this, join a support group, man. I learned so much stuff. Do your own research if you can. I learned so much from the ladies, and I'm really, really happy that I did. I'm currently five weeks. Yeah, five weeks post-op. Uh, I go back to work in about a week. I'm doing really, really well. You know, I had a couple minor hiccups afterwards, but, you know, I'll share that with you guys in another video. But this whole video was really about the facial or mask I guess I'm calling a facial it's a mask and about the anesthesia I hope that I um, answered your questions uh, Excalibur 18 uh, thank you for letting me know that I helped you I really that's all I want to do like the fact that I helped one person totally makes my day I'm gonna try to get this video edited like ASAP as soon as I'm done with this wash my face and all that stuff I'm gonna try to get this video edited and up for you um, I believe you asked me this question like two days ago so 
yeah, again, if you have questions, comments, anything, share them in the comment section below. Please subscribe. I'll have more um, informative fibroids information coming out soon, as well as stuff leading up to my wedding, getting married really soon, and uh, vlogs, and I really love this YouTube thing. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I see you guys. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's it, and I will see you guys in the next video.